You are dead. You are so dead, dude. Look, turn around, man. Look what's behind you. Look. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I seem to be enveloped in a massive horde of man-stabbing cavalry. Geeks, welcome back. Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Total War Attila. Uh, an epic game uh, and you are tuning in to our grand campaign to unite Britannia here under a Celtic High King at the moment our High King still going that's King Andy right here uh, so he is the man who's looking like he may be taking the job uh, last episode I wasn't sure we would ever get to a battle but this episode I'm thinking we might I'm starting to feel kind of good about this so, uh, we gotta track down the last of these Caledonian dogs, led by, uh, Divitiakos. Uh, we have now fought a bunch of battles against them, and they just keep surviving. And I cannot wait to wipe them off the face of the earth. So what I'm gonna do, uh, guys, is not only give you a battle in this episode, but give you a battle right off the top. It may take up a big chunk of this episode. So here we go guys, let's uh, bring these armies together. I'm thinking we'll make Akuchios more mobile, because uh, it took him a long time to get in the fight last time, so we'll give him as many cavalry raiders as we can manage. Move, yeah, okay. So we'll leave maybe Andy with two cav. Maybe we'll give him the two weakest, so I'll take these ones here. Uh, we can also give him the wood runners to even up the deal. Maybe if we take these back, we can give him the archers too. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I want to take those. I'll take uh, I'll take his spears. Uh, that way, we can use these guys as bait. They're sort of frontline troops. They're all mercenaries. Not worried about losing them. So let's have a look at the two armies now. So, four horse, a couple of spears as protectors for the horse, and bodyguard for uh, Kuchios here, and King Andy with a grand 20 stack. Big old ton. What's that? Nine wood runners. Uh, we get a couple mercenary Celtic bands. Like I said, we'll use them up front to draw the enemy out or take uh, some of their fire. And then a whole line of archers. We've got the Celtic bows here, which are pretty simple. And then we have the uh, Celtic archers who also have fast advance and I think more ammo. Yeah, a couple more ammo. We got a couple horse. I wanted to keep a couple just for mobility, just so we're not getting badly flanked. Uh, the only problem here is, guys, we are out of movement space. So I'm going to call an end to this turn. And uh, we'll hit you back in the next one. Ah, good news. Akuchios leveled up. He barely got in that last battle. So we're going to hit him with um, the wolf. He needs some zeal, for sure. Uh, and, you know what? That's pretty good. Faction-wide 10% boost. Why don't we... He's an old sage for a 24-year-old. Man has been around. He knows a lot. So why don't we give him that that's a good deal uh, and actually this one here is pretty neat because we're gonna be building a granary soon so we have to put that in the hands of whoever I think it would be Cam who is the governor up north here uh, and then uh, let's see if we can add a companion you know what no nope, we'll save that for uh, a man it's better suits for a governor and then we've got King Andy here does he have anything I need to worry about nope that's not the button uh, okay yeah, so I've set him up. He's got Epic Poet. I don't remember doing this, but that's cool. That's perfect. Recurve Bow, nice. And Armor. So let's go have a look at our family tree before we dive into this battle. Let's see, Cam, you are... You are uh, the governor of Britannia. Uh, in, oh, you... Oh, I see. Cam, sorry, is the governor at... Br yeah, Caledonia Hibernia, which is where we want him. Uh, so let's have a look at the man. We'll see if we can give him that map holder thing as opposed to what's he got now growth local province mm. we need that growth or right, maybe we hold off a turn uh, and then public order local province it's a pretty sweet deal we've also got sedge uh, in a position of power there's sedge right there um, he is the other governor he's governor in the south at britannia inferior um, in boracum so we've got him with growth to local province did i just check him am i a doofus all right, let's go check out Cam. Cam was on the left earlier. He's the oldest. He should be on the left. But then he got married to this this 
jute wench. And now he's on the right side of my family tree and it's messing my shit up. Alright, so. He's got a spear. Missile that you shouldn't have that. Can I take that away from you? Alright. Uh, you can take map holder. You can take public order bonus. I'm liking it. And then the Olemri. We don't have you in a position of power yet, but... Actually, there's not much of anything you can do. You uh, are at 20 personal influence. Maybe you need 30 for this one. You do. Uh, so we're going to save her, marry her off to one of these clowns here. Uh, Casicos or Dummy or Cuchios. Uh, and then, you know what? Nobody's got a ton of influence to spend. Secure loyalty could be good. Who's got the worst loyalty? You know, I don't know if that's a good idea. Do it. And Sedge, we're building him up some uh, personal influence. He's got to find himself a wife. So does the Re, to be honest. Uh, but we'll, we'll get them both up there. So, uh, guys, without further ado, let's call an end to this turn. And next turn, we're going to hit those Caledonians so hard that we will destroy their faction. We will complete our genocide of the Caledonians. If you don't hate them, if you don't have a deep, unrelenting hatred of those southern Scots in your heart... If you don't want to use all the power in your being to wipe them off the face of the earth, then I would say that you're not a, a real person. Uh, you're not a, you're not in touch with your true feelings because they're just awful. They we signed a peace treaty. That's good news. We signed a peace treaty and then they started raiding us. And then when I went to go teach them a lesson, apparently I'm a traitor for doing so. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not down with that. So we are. Ooh, this is interesting. It's winter. We're going to start taking some attrition. Good news is they didn't run off. So I'm going to take a Kuchios. And I'm going to move up maybe just north of the wall here. Is that still a position to reinforce? Oh no, it's not. Getting close enough here? I would hope so. And then maybe we will throw you... Oh, we can't. I've messed around too much. Alright, well let's get into it with King Andy. And you run. I knew it. That would have been the perfect spot. Alright, you still have a bit of movement left, although you can't get close enough to take the fight to you. And let's do this. Boom. And we are close enough to Ildon that the uh, the local elder, Petosos, gets to come out with the garrison force. And then we have our full-fledged uh, uh, kind of cavalry wing here. These guys will be able to rush into battle. A little protection uh, for Okuchios and a little flank for the Cav. And then the, the Grand Pictish Army. Loaded up with woodrunners, a couple of mercenary swords, tons of archers, and a couple of fast-moving horse. Let's take this thing to them. Battle! This series, guys, has had more recording issues than uh, any other series I've come across. I've had to re-record things, overdub audio, go back and watch replays and record those, and then add audio to those. Uh, so I don't know, don't know what you'll be seeing. I've also been working hard to bring out some cool-looking uh, videos with those kind of montage intros over dramatic music as some of the highlights of the battle. Uh, if this one's not so quick, and we outnumber them pretty badly, I will try and get some cool highlights of this. Uh, and throw uh, a nice intro at the beginning of this video. You'll have already seen it, if it happened. Um, Alright guys, it is dry. This is a cool looking spot. Looks honestly a little bit like where I grew up. I grew up in the country outside, um, outside Toronto. And this is basically what it looked like, except more of these. These fences would just go back like this, and there'd be sheep and cows and stuff out here. Um, Alright guys, I think we're good to go. So here's the force. Uh, I'm going to take a minute, get us all lined up for battle, and um, when I do so, uh, I will uh, come back with you guys. So give me a sec. So guys, I briefly thought about trying to set up a little ambush on these clowns, maybe setting some like bait troops out up here, keeping archers up on the other side of this hill, and maybe hiding our woodrunners back there. But you know what? We outnumber them pretty badly, uh, and no need to be sneaky and draw the battle out longer than it needs to be drawn out. So what I've gone ahead and done is, let me throw you guys, yeah, actually, sorry, I forgot your perfect right where you are. 
so uh, what I've done is taken our group to these mercenary uh, Celtic band out here, the swords, kept them in absolute plain sight. Uh, now that being said, a few of my troops are kind of in plain sight. Uh, so there's nothing we're going to be able to do about that. But uh, we've thrown the wood runners into shield wall in a double line up front. Uh, archers in behind with King Andy and the horses on the flanks. And we do have uh, reinforcements coming. One is coming from right over here, which would be nice. Uh, and the other is coming from the back side of the battlefield. So we'll send them up. Hopefully this is the fast one with the horse. We'll send them up to the top of this hill and get ready for some uh, flanking action. Let us get this thing on. All right, the battle begins. Uh, should I try and hide my troops that are unhidden? Maybe just pile you in here. King Andy. So, let's move these, these uh, mercenaries up. Try and draw the enemy in. We're, we're hiding most of our troops, not quite yet, but maybe we'll move you guys out to this flank just to be safe because we know we got strong support coming from uh, our flanks as it stands right now. Okay, so this is the fast army. We will call you guys group seven for the time being. And I'm thinking we move you up right here. Alright, and then, second force coming in from down here, we'll call you guys group 8. Uh, you guys are going to have trouble getting even into the fight here. But we'll move you up like that, make sure you're hustling. And then maybe, uh, let's let's keep, see if we can lure them out here. wonder if we should move a little horse up too. Actually, why don't I, why don't I tuck you guys back here, so that maybe they see you and come for you. Something like that. And then uh, we'll use all our horse to actually draw them out because they're so much more maneuverable. Uh, didn't know I'd have time to talk about this during the battle, uh, but uh, yesterday or the day before, uh, it's going to be a good uh, 10 days to two weeks for you guys because I'm ahead in my recording schedule. But uh, it, the Warhammer Total War trailer just came out. A lot of people are pretty stoked for this. So if you don't know Warhammer, it's a fantasy universe uh, built around like tabletop miniature gaming. They've got that. They also have their sci-fi universe, which is uh, Warhammer 40k. That's the only one I've ever really gotten into. If the fantasy side has as much depth and lore and history to it uh, as the sci-fi side, man, it that, that could be good. Uh, and then Total War fans are stoked uh, because uh, they're going to see potentially a very new type of game because uh, there will be orcs riding boars, there will be griffins, uh, undead riding dragons, massive dwarven cannons and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Uh, and so that's going to mean making a very different, a very unique type of Total War game, one that we have not seen that much, uh, one that we've never seen before. Now I, like I said, have gotten into a little bit into Warhammer 40k in that world in the past, but from my experience, um, it's it's an addictive one. Uh, people who get into it really get into it. Um, so another exciting thing means uh, potentially a whole new group of uh, gamers could be plugged in to the Total War series. And for a YouTuber like me and some of the people who only do Total War con some content on their channels, guys like Warrior of, S of Sparta, uh, Lionheart, or Alex the Rambler, those guys, uh, are, when the game comes out, uh, anybody who's doing Total War will potentially have a very new audience uh, that they'll be exposing themselves to because all the Warhammer freaks, and I say freaks the best possible meaning, all you people who adore that game, they are coming over to our side um, and they're going to be checking out uh, some Total War. So that's exciting. And you know what? The, the trailer contained no gameplay. It was really just a teaser, kind of introduced you to a bit to the world, some of the, the forces, some of the, uh, you know, because this is stupid. They're just not moving up. Uh, we attack them. I guess we can't really expect for them to uh, come fight us. So we'll get you guys out of shield wall. We'll set you up down here on the bottom of the hill. Group two, move you up front. 
Andy, you can tuck in behind. Group five archers will go one here. Uh, what did I do with the other archers? Four. Put you guys out on the flank here with um, call these guys group uh, nine. Get you out here. Uh, we're left over with, we'll move you into group three here, Cuchios. Group seven is going to be all that remaining cav. We've already got some of you up front. We'll move more over. Uh, and then what do we have left? What did I, oh yeah, here, you can get in group seven. And then we got group eight here. Just our buddy. He's going to move up too. So yeah, that's big news. A creative assembly has signed on to do three games. For you you history nuts out there, don't stress. Uh, this doesn't mean no uh, historical Total War Artillery tiles, titles are uh, in the works. It is a totally separate team working on it. They have a bunch of teams working there uh, on totally different things at the same time. DLCs and new games and uh, updates, things like that. Uh, so you, you, you'll definitely still see a historical battle. For me, guys... Uh, I have always been a history geek, so when it comes to swords and horses and bows and arrows, I've always leaned towards games like this, Total War Attila, rather than I have to, you know, a Lord of the Rings or a Warhammer type uh, game. Uh, but there are, like I said, some real fantasy nuts out there, and I get ya. I'm, I'm with you some of the time. I totally understand where you're coming from. Uh, it's, uh, it's a cool world. These guys are just not moving forward, are they? Just moving everything up here, guys, trying to get us in position to do some serious damage. Alright, we are we are taking it to them, guys. They're they're moving out a little bit. I wish I knew where their general was. Skirmish mode for you guys. Same thing for you guys. Our troops are being ambushed. Uh, I don't know who to get the into with these cheap units. troops. I hope. Yes. Let's get King Andy ready with a brace charge for these guys. Oh no. Oh, you, you, you're cowards. You know that. So I'm going to send three units to harass the general, everybody's on skirmish, and I'll send another one back to mess with the bows there. Oh, wait, Andy. I keep, they're doing all these faint charges where they're faking me out here. I want to send a unit up the hill, get into these horse. And I don't have my archers on fire at will, so they are likely, you know, I've got these guys on heavy shot. I've got these guys on flame, so we'll use them to hit the horse. I should be should be doing this more. The reason I take them off fire at will is you don't brace when you're on fire at will. Alright, this is working. Nobody touches our general. Where's he at? Where you at, Andy? Am I blind? Oh no, you're back here. You're fine. Oh, right. Sweet. They charged us with spears. These units go right at the general. You right at him. You right at him. And the woodrunners move on up. Sh throw you into that shield wall. Group 8. Why don't you get back in there? Get into the mix. I think we're starting to take it to him here, guys. Oh, 
I want to just fire some flaming shot in here on King Andy. I really do, but I don't think it would be wise. Or not on King Andy. I want to fire on their uh, their commander, but he's gonna break soon any anyway. I want to get those horse. I want to chase you guys down. Where's the rest of my cav? We got more cav over here. Yeah. I do not want these guys escaping from us yet again. The enemy general is fallen. Nice. So let's start chasing them down. A unit has used all available ammunition. No. Of course I could end the battle at this point. But I don't think that's the smart move. I think we gotta chase him down. Yes, we are. Cool. Uh, so, I, uh, I should say too, I uh, always remember these things at the last minute, but uh, I woke up today the most amazing bad hair day. It was like a, a rad hair day. If I wanted to be lame and say something like that. Uh, instead of actually posting it to my Twitter on the day I'm doing it, uh, I'm going to post it the day this video comes out so that you guys can go check her out. Uh, that should do it, guys. I didn't do very many good close-ups of the battle this time around. Do they have any troops left? Oh, they got one unit over here. Okay. Uh, seriously guys, this is enough where I'd have to chase this army down and auto-resolve another battle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish off these brigands. You are dead. You are so dead, dude. Look, turn around, man. Look what's behind you. Look! Oh, what's happening? Oh, I seem to be enveloped in a massive horde of man stabbing cavalry you're done man yeah that'll do it oh he's getting back up you are a bold soldier take a spear to the eye you bastard Caledonian piece of there he is let's flatten him come on come on I hear cheering. It must be over. Decisive victory. Another grand, grand triumph for our man, King Andy. Oh my god. A beheading. Uh, Natos, dead. Let's take on his troops. Guys, I haven't seen a beheading. If you haven't got that blood and burning pack, four or five bucks, you get awesome battlefield animations. Cool campaign map kills, too. Uh, I'm pretty stoked with that. We're gonna take on warriors, take our 6% bonus. They are done, and tell me that no men are alive. Yes! Genocide complete! I am so stoked for this. Uh, guys, we started this freaking episode with a battle. I think... We're gonna... I think we're gonna keep this one short. Uh, when I come back next time, I'll maybe deal with these mercenaries. I'll deal with upgrades if we got any for King Andy or Akuchios. Maybe we'll see those next turn, and uh, and then we'll get on to rebuilding. We're on the path to uh, rebuilding the cities we currently own. We've got Aboracum, Isledon, and Tuasis. Saguntium here has been flattened, and the Jutes, who are our friends, have got Lindum. The Abdanians, who are also our friends, have got Ablana. So I'm wondering, the next move might be all the way in the south, unless we turn on the Jutes. And uh, that could be a while away, so this one... I admittedly is a bit of a shorter episode next time guys I'll hit you with a good one we'll maybe try and push it to 45 minutes something like that really get a lot done in this campaign so guys thank you so much for watching I am Unite the Clans and I will see all y'all in the very next episode